Linda Connolly and I'm a enamel artist. My work is principally inspired by stories, memories and dreams. I first started enamelling over 30 years ago when my husband, we just got married, bought home this really old enamelling kiln from a junk shop for me to try. And I'd always experimented with a wide range of art forms, sewing, pottery, stained glass, drawing, painting. But there's something about this combination of glass and colour that completely captivated and entranced me. And that's what I do now. I love to create unique, colourful pieces of enamel art, bringing memories to life in jewellery, bowls and small panels. I use a variety of methods, ranging from tradi traditional techniques to more experimental ones that I've developed using scraffito, handmade decals and combining other mixed media techniques. Now I have here my pestle and mortar, like so, and my enamel. So I take my enamel and I have already washed my pestle and mortar because if you've got it kicking around your workshop, chances are it's gonna pick up a bit of dirt. And as we're aiming to have this enamel beautifully clean, any dirt in your bowl to begin with is obviously not gonna be on your side. So I've got it in here and you can hopefully see that it's covered with water. I take my pestle and mortar and I generally stand to do this. And what I do first is I rock it. I'm holding my thumb over the pestle like that so I can put quite a bit of force into this. Once I've done all that I can like that, then I start to grind it. Okay, so now I've been grinding this and I've got it nice and smooth, okay? And I'm going to need to pour it off into, I'm going to pour it into this bowl here and I'm going to rinse it until it looks clear, okay? Now, um, if you look here, um, you can see the enamel looks quite milky and you can see how the blue's settling. Watch it settle and then pour it off. And you can see all the blue is being left in. And here I have now a nice, clean, freshly ground turquoise blue enamel that I can use for um, wet laying. I carried on working with this on this for a little bit longer and now it's ready to go in the kiln. I'd like to share with you some of my more recent enamels that I've made inspired by silks and saris and wonderful architecture and domes I saw in India and of course my favourite Brighton Pavilion. And here's a small selection of my work. Mm -hmm. 